I can just remember it being a really good occasion. And I don't know if it was me being ignorant at the time or not understanding the magnitude of the game, but I, I remember going into it fearless and off the back of a few good results and good performances, I never felt like we was going to lose that game. Um, started well, can't, I think, did Goody score first? He did, with the air yeah. guitar celebration. Yeah, and then it erupted. And then um, I think we got, did we get two in the second half or was it? I remember, yeah, yeah two in the second half. But yeah, the, we brought loads down there. And I think, was they already relegated at the time? Stop mm. Yeah, it was pretty flat on their end, but we was... um. Yeah, we was bang up for it and got the result that we needed. Can you remember what Les might have said to you beforehand? Just to, I don't know if it's to get, I mean, you don't need motivation in that situation, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, th I think he could have literally said anything and the boys would have still been fired up to the max. I, I haven't got a clue what he said, but um, yeah, I remember putting on a good performance and the fans coming on at the end of the game as well. I've still got the pictures on my laptop. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good day. One of the, one of the best days of my career. You stabbed the ball through the keeper's legs, if I remember rightly, for the third. And that kind of cemented it, really. I couldn't believe my luck. I think um, someone's had a shot and the keeper's parried it and it's right in front of me. And I've just, I've side-footed it in from about half a yard and then done about 10 celebrations. Like I just scored a weldy, but um, they all count, didn't they, as they say. But um, yeah, like I said, it was a great, it was a great day. Were you aware of the scores elsewhere? Because it wasn't, you needed a few results to go your way, I think, didn't you? As well as needing to win yourself. So can you remember where... Or if you'd heard anything? No, I can't remember. It's a bit of a blur from that day. I just remember we we give a right good account of ourselves and we I think we steamrolled them, didn't we? I can't remember them having much. Um, I remember, was it Marlon Bruns had a bit with one of their strikers? I think he popped his nose early doors and then after that, it was, um, yeah, we just steamrolled them. What were the celebrations like? Yeah, it was a good party after, to be fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I signed. <laughs> but, uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. So once that had happened, I th you've, you've already said you, you knew your time at, what, at West Brom was coming to an end. Was it always going to be as simple as if Tranmere came in, you were going to go there? Uh, I remember I was speaking to my agent and I think I was pushing it and my agent was saying that, well, you've got another option, uh, a few other options. And I remember Colchester being one because I'm from Essex originally. And um, that was back home, but I was on my own at the time. I didn't have kids, so wherever I was in the country, as long as I was playing football, enjoying it, I, I wasn't phased. So um, yeah, I said if we can get something done at Tramir, um, let's get it done. And I think I remember signing really early. I think it was yeah, it was still in June when I signed, and yeah, moved up. Um, Craig Curran had left, so I moved into his old apartment or well, his father-in-law's apartment. So I was all settled there, and um, yeah, that no, was good. How did you find Merseyside life compared to Essex life? Well, I was in I was in Birmingham when I from West Brom, so I was I've moved away from home for for a few years before that. But I I like Liverpool. Uh, made some great friends up there. Um, I was in Highton at the start, moved over to the docks, and then second year, me and Adam McGurk lived down the Wirral um, in Birkenhead, Birkenhead Vegas, I think they call it. But uh, <laughs> that, that was a good time as well. It was a good time. There's a lot, I mean, I've heard lots of managers talk about this before, where there are players who feel like it's too cushy for them sometimes at, at Premier League or Championship clubs, and they don't want to go out and test themselves and see what it's like playing out on loan. But for you, kind of, it must have been the making of your career, really, moving away from West Brom and, and seeing whether or not you could cut it in men's football in League One. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, like I said, I didn't have the option to stay and be comfortable because West Brom have ultimately said your time, your time is up and... It was at the time before um, they had a 23s team. So it was literally a youth team, first team. Uh, the ones that was doing well in the youth team would step up to the reserves. Ones that was out of favour in the first team would come down to, to form the reserve side. So, yeah, there was no 23s. I think it was the year after or two years after when they formed the 23s. And then that's when they started giving the the young boys their um, their bigger contract, twos and three-year contracts. But when I was there, it was literally one year. But um the year I actually got released, I scored eight goals from 25 appearances from from midfield in, in Leagues 1 and 2, which um, which is not a bad return. Um, but yeah, I think uh, West Brom, I remember them saying that my feet weren't quick enough for the level. I think they were yo yoing between Premiership and Championship at the time. So um, yeah, it's just what happens. And yeah, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to play for Tremor.